The following segment is sponsored by Creature Comforts Veterinary Resort and Suites. Welcome back. You know, when we discuss maintaining a healthy weight, it's all about feeling our best and looking our best, but your dog needs to maintain a healthy weight too. Craig Lambert and Dr. Donna Lambert are here with their dogs, Lily and Scout from Creature Comforts Resort and Suites. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First, let's talk about how big of a problem is animal obesity. It's a big problem, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> but we estimate about 50% of dogs and cats are either overweight or obese. And so overweight is about 15, 10 to 15 percent over your ideal weight and mm -hmm. then obese would be 20 percent over the ideal weight. Okay and you know you can look and some dogs are obviously carrying too much yeah. weight but how do you know if your pet's weight is healthy? Well the number it's hard to know but what you can do is what we in the veterinary field we call it a body condition score so we look at different areas of your dog we like to see a little waistline at the flank just a little tuck if you look from the top you should see a little narrow waist mm -hmm. you should easily be able to feel their ribs but you don't necessarily want to see the ribs and you, sh you definitely don't want to be able to see the backbone but you don't want to feel a layer of fat over the ribs so they really need to have like us a little bit of a waist and no extra rolls. <laughs> so Scout is pretty much a model dog. She, Scout is wow. she's perfection on. and honestly right now she's young enough that Time hasn't taken a toll on her. Mm -hmm. Her hormones are healthy. Her diet is healthy. But over time is when you run into the, the issues with overfeeding, feeding improperly, too many treats. Absolutely. No a exercise. Dog who, a dog yeah. who's six years old that sits underneath a high chair all day and gets yeah. extra treats and starting to Absolutely. expand uh, is something to think about. What are some tips to, to maybe keep your dog at that healthy weight? I'm guessing, like you mentioned, fewer yeah. treats. Well, feeding properly, feeding a quality diet for that dog's life stage so if it's a puppy you want to feed a puppy food if it's an adult an adult food if it's a senior dog over the age of seven a senior dog you want to feed specifically you want to feed the right portions mm -hmm. you want to avoid excessive treats you don't want to feed fatty treats you want to avoid excessive fatty table foods things like I that. I think we see as much as anything that everybody in the house has to be on board. Right. Yes. There's yeah. usually always one person sneaking cheese. It's always or, whoever's not know. with the pet. Oh, it's my husband. No, I don't do it. I don't. <laughs> well, no. because when a dog gains yeah. weight, that's not spontaneous. Yeah. Somebody's doing something. Right. They don't have find opposable thumbs. Culprit. They're not getting in the pantry, you know. And uh, they're, not they're like humans, you know. The extra weight does come with consequences in the later years they will pay for that and let's talk about from a health perspective the benefits of keeping your pet at a healthy weight go much further beyond vanity um, excess Absolutely. weight can reduce life expectancy what else by is two happening? years mm -hmm. you get an extra two years by keeping your dog's weight healthy um, they have a less um, chance of developing arthritis that's a huge problem when they are they can't walk you know that's that's a huge problem um, less chance of diabetes and especially in cats I was gonna say about up to 60 percent of cats are listed as obese or overweight yeah and wow. diabetes yeah. is a big problem with cats that are overweight all right well any so. other anything else come to mind on the topic of, of keeping your pets at a healthy weight or, or what you do with that at Creature Comfort I would say ask talk to your vet make it a point to have a conversation what do I need to do to keep my pets weight healthy throughout his life start when they're puppies and have that discussion because if you don't know you don't know and don't follow the commercials on tv they're not there to give you advice they're there to sell their product and if they're you know 10 pounds and you come out of your annual and they give you a report and they said my dog was you know three pounds overweight well that's not too bad well that's 30 yeah. percent yeah i that's... mean you know so if you do the math on our body mass that's a lot you yeah. know a big change. She's so great. I imagine. <laughs> what a good dog. Great She's in front a of the ball. camera. She loves it. Such a good right. ball. Boxers are the clown of the dog. World. They are. Um, at Cre at Creature Comforts Veterinary Resort and Suites, you opened in 2008. Mm -hmm. Give us an overview and what makes it such a great place. Yeah, I mean, we've married our two careers. We've been together 28 years, married together for 30, but um, 47 hotel rooms, all cage free. Um, we've got seven play yards, indoor play yard. So we spend about six hours a day. If they're, if your dog is good for group play, they're outside about six hours a day. Oh, We've got that's cameras amazing. that you can watch, and cats have special rooms. Um, we board quite a few cats in those suites. It's just a cool place. And then we've got three doctors that are there Monday through Friday, and there's always somebody on call, a technician or a veterinarian's always on call. 
we do a lot of business with other veterinarians uh, clients yep. board, boarding wise and day camp wise well i love the thought of of the dog in in his own room because they're nervous away from home sometimes yeah. and they don't want to be here in all the other Absolutely. action but they've got their own room so yeah. it's, it's a lot more quiet and less stressful for yeah. them than a maybe traditional boarding experience in a cage or in a run where they can see the other pets. And the first day of day camp's free. So, I mean, give us a call, go online, register, yep. get up with our vaccine protocols and dogs that are social are much happier dogs. Well, perfect. Cats, so we haven't mastered cat day camp yet, but we'll keep working on it. <laughs> I look forward to the cat day camp segment. We'll, we'll, do, uh, we'll do something big with that. That would be that. real special. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for being here. You can learn more about Creature Comforts, Veterinary Resorts, and Suites in Inman by visiting the website. The phone number is there on your screen. Uh, Craig, Dr. Donna, thanks for being here. Thanks. Scout, thanks for laying around. Scout. You are a good, good puppy. Look at that sweet. <laughs> and this is how tired the dogs are after after doggy day camp. She yeah. crashes after camp. She I'm camps telling you. about five She's days over. a week. So yeah, that's powerful. She's a sweet one. <laughs> well, we will play with puppies and we will send it back to you all in the uh, studio. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you.